Today I'm going to be answering viewer questions on the Nike Pegasus Turbo 2. So 50 miles completed this week. I'm really, really tired guys. Really, really worn out. But I don't want to let you down. I've received lots of viewer questions in both the comments and also via Instagram about the Pegasus Turbo 2s. So I intend to answer as many of those questions as I can and I'll continue to do that in future videos. So let's dive into the most popular questions I've received over the last few days. So question number one, does the Zoom X phone crease up as per the original version of the turbos? Yes, I can confirm that the Zoom X foam, so this sort of upper section here on the outsole, does crease up exactly the same as the original version of the Pegasus Turbo. I think this is just a byproduct, really, of the material. They certainly seem to paint it with something, like there's a coating on top of it. And I think that's what's creasing, really. The Zoom X foam kind of compresses and then returns back to its original state. But when it does that, I don't think that this outer material or coating returns at the same kind of speed. So what, what's going on is it's kind of compressing and then the outer material starts to get creased. I know people have had creases um, with Zoom X straight out of the box, so I'm not really too, too worried about that. For me, it's not so much of an issue. These shoes are items that are designed to be used to help remove some of that pounding and absorb some of the contact of our feet hitting the floor, hitting the terrain and surface we're running on. I think this really does show that the cushioning's doing its job. It's protecting our feet to some extent. So if the creasing's a big problem for you, I would recommend possibly avoiding this shoe. If those aesthetic things are, are a big deal, and to some people they are, I would recommend avoiding this shoe because it is gonna crease, this midsole is gonna crease up pretty quickly. As you can see here, certainly at the four foot area, um, it's really starting to crease up already there after about 30 miles. Question number two, the tongue changes do they cause any discomfort during a run? So the tongue is one of the big changes with this new iteration of the Pegasus Turbo. So it has a neoprene style feel, um, similar to something that you would get on perhaps a laptop case, on a wetsuit, or that's even been found on the recent Pegasus Shield editions. So it has this kind of neoprene feel. It's certainly stretchy, I'll give it that, as you can see there, it does stretch, it does give a little bit. And round the very edge of the tongue, there's this kind of reinforced section. The tongue is much thinner than the version one and is considerably shorter than the foam-filled original. I have to be honest guys, after 30 miles, I've barely even noticed this tongue. I think the combination of the tongue change and also the lacing system gives a far better lockdown as well than the original version of the shoe. One thing to note is that when you do start to put the shoe on and kind of do, do up the laces, that this tongue can sort of bunch at the side. And what I've had to do is kind of smooth out the tongue while putting on the shoe for the first time. So it takes a little bit of time when first putting on the shoe to get the fit and the feel correct, to get the pressure around your forefoot just right. But once you do, you're rewarded with an almost invisible feel. I found that once the tongue is in position, it doesn't slip around, it doesn't move about, and it stayed right where it was needed. So question number three, is the Pegasus Turbo 2 true to size? So one issue that I have had with the shoe, or maybe not an issue, more of an observation, is that of the toe box. It is voluminous, guys. It is really, really, you are not gonna have any issues if you have very sort of large or, or very sort of kind of deep toes. You know, this, this isn't gonna be a problem. There's lots and lots of space in there. Now you might think that's great. You might think that's a really good thing. I know some people, it can feel uh, a little strange. It can feel a little odd, especially if you're buying this shoe as, as a racing shoe, really. I mean, Nike, intend for it to be a sort of high tempo shoe. You could probably do races, um, you can do lots of high tempo training, maybe some interval kind of work, but there's a lot of room here. It's not, it's not a problem for me. I kind of like that feeling, but it could be a problem for some people. So on the original turbos, you had a stripe here on top of the toe box, which was polarizing in opinion. Some really loved it from an aesthetic and also a functional reason, and others really did not like it at all. So here with this second edition of the Pegasus Turbo, they've dispensed with that stripe now. So your toes seem to make far less contact with the upper around the toe box area of the shoe. So I personally really love the feeling of the shoe. Um, I think it's great. It's certainly been really exciting to run in and very comfortable to run in also. But that is my opinion. 
Others may find the toe box far too roomy for their taste. Another thing to note is that this shoe is certainly not a narrow shoe. It does have quite a lot of width here in the toe box area and again if people are purchasing this shoe for racing they may not like that. It certainly doesn't bear much resemblance to the Vaporfly 4% or the Zoomfly series in terms of the narrowness of the shoe. I found that it gives good support around the arch area certainly and I felt quite secure running in it even in some slightly slippery and wet conditions earlier this week. I still felt secure and very sure footed in the Pegasus Turbo 2. So in short yes I feel sizing on the Pegasus Turbo 2 is true to size. So to wrap things up for today we've looked at wear on the Zoom X, we've looked at sizing and also the tongue. I'm seeing the exact same creasing on the Zoom X uh, as per the version 1 of the Pegasus Turbos. You don't need to worry about the tongue, it stays in place, it's incredibly comfortable, it's a non-issue. And in terms of sizing, go true to size on the Pegasus Turbo 2. Thanks for watching to the end viewer. Please, if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, click the like button if you particularly enjoyed this video, and put your comments or questions on the Pegasus Turbo 2 or any other trainers in the comments section below. My name's Ed Budd, and I'll be seeing you. <laughs>